Vanilla Minecraft without any optimization mods gives you horrible FPS and could even be labeled as unplayable at some moments. So today I'm gonna show you some of the best mods and tricks you can use to get your FPS from this to this. Before showing you any mods, the easiest way to run your game better is to allocate more RAM to it. When using a regular Minecraft launcher, just open it up, click on the installations, choose your version and click on it. Under more options, you can see the JVM arguments. And the number right here shows you how much RAM you have allocated to this version. At the moment, as you can see, it's 2. So you can set it a bit higher, 4 or 6 for example. Make sure not to use up all of your computer's RAM though, since other applications need it as well. Now let's hop into the game without any mods first and see what our FPS is. Let's choose a nice spot right here. These are the settings I'm going to use and these are my PC specs if you're interested in those. And this is the FPS I am able to get at the moment. As you can see it's around 60 to 65 which is pretty low in my opinion. I can definitely notice the lag when it drops under 60. So let's fix that. And to do that we have to install some game optimization mods that improve your overall FPS. There are two most famous ones, Optifine and Sodium. First let's talk about Optifine. Optifine is an optimization mod that allows Minecraft to run faster, look better and offers you many configuration options as you can see from here. And the reason why so many people use Optifine are exactly for those same configuration options. For example you can disable different particles separately. Dynamic light option, so when the light source is not placed down, it can still emit light for the area around it. Also the connected textures, zoom and the ability to disable fog, which makes playing in the nether actually an enjoyable experience. So I have Optifine installed, let's hop into the game and check our FPS. Same spot and settings as before. And wow! The average FPS is around 300, which is 5 times higher than the FPS without any mods. Of course, it will drop a bit if you are running around or doing something more intense, but it stays over 200 about 90% of the time, so a huge W for Optifine. But now let's talk about the other elephant in the room, me. Wait no, I meant Sodium. Sodium is another Minecraft optimization mod that replaces the game's rendering engine to improve frame rates and stuttering. I don't wanna go too in depth but there's a lot more info on the mod's CurseForge page and I will link that down below. But now let's install Sodium and hop into the game. And as expected the FPS around 300 or often even 350. Much better than the vanilla experience. And the thing I noticed with Sodium is that it also keeps your FPS more stable than Optifine. But it lacks a lot of the customization options that Optifine has. And that's because Sodium is actually meant to be used with other mods from the same family for the best result. Optifine and Sodium are the two most popular performance improving mods for Minecraft. So I would recommend to use one of those and combine them with the mods I'm gonna talk about now. The first one is Starlight. Starlight is a mod for rewriting the light engine to fix lighting performance and lighting errors in the game. If you want to have farms in a world that use the light suppression, this mod will break them since it makes the light updates a lot faster. This mod doesn't increase your FPS in regular scenarios, but it helps a lot when generating new chunks, editing blocks in the high altitude levels and also performance with overall block light updates. Here's also a graph comparing the starlight to another similar mod, the Phosphor, and the vanilla light engine. It is so much faster as you can see. Next up we have Lithium. Lithium is an overall optimization mod for Minecraft. It works to improve stuff like game physics, mob AI, block ticking and more. It is mainly meant for Minecraft servers, but also works on the game clients, since even in single player, your game runs on an integrated server, as you can see from right over here. And this mod helps to optimize the server side of the game. It doesn't increase your FPS that much, or not even at all, but what it does is gives your milliseconds per tick nice and low. But what even is this? Well, milliseconds per tick is the time it takes for your server to load all Minecraft moving parts and put it together for you to see. And Minecraft updates 20 times per second, or that means runs at 20 ticks per second. 
and since one second divided by 20 is 50 milliseconds, the maximum delay you can have in milliseconds per tick is 50. If it goes any amount above that, your Minecraft farms or huge redstone creations will start lagging and probably even break. Lithium keeps your milliseconds per tick much lower than the vanilla Minecraft, which is perfect for huge farms that have many mobs and moving parts. Then we have the Ferret Core. If you are playing Minecraft with huge mod packs, you need to try this out. This mod reduces the memory usage of Minecraft in a few different ways, but works the best for mod packs. So if you like playing out fully modded out Minecraft, then try out Ferret Core. And now something to speed up your Minecraft boot time. This mod is called Lazy DFU and it will do just that. It stops Minecraft from loading unnecessary things when booting up the game, making it a lot faster. And especially on the older and slower CPUs. So let's test it out. Here's a side by side comparison and as you can see, it is quite a lot faster than the vanilla version. So if the vanilla boot time bothers you, you need to check out Lazy DFU mod. But now, the distant horizons. This mod doesn't give you any FPS boost, but it does something other amazing. This mod generates fake chunks past the real render distance, making you be able to see really really far away. My real render distance is at 16 at the moment, but I can see as far as 64 chunks with this mod. This mod has lots of settings to modify, and I think it's pretty awesome you can play with huge render distances without blowing up your PC. The next mod is Clumps. This one is pretty straightforward. We all have experienced the lag lots of XP can cause. And this mod fixes it by combining all of your XP orbs into bigger clumps so they can be absorbed better and won't lag your game that bad. It's pretty useful for fast XP farms in my opinion. But now let's check out the mod called FPS Reducer. Well this might seem a bit odd because why would you want to reduce your FPS but hear me out. This mod reduces your FPS only when the game is in the background or when you are AFKing. This way you can have Minecraft running in the background without taking up too much of your CPU power. There is also a way you can load chunks much faster and smoother than before. And for that we are going to use the chunk pre-generation mod. With this one you can just type in a command and start generating chunks you haven't even explored yet. You can just let it work overnight and when you come back in the morning everything will load smooth as butter. Now that we have taken a look at all of the modes, here is a list of my favorites. And with these ones you should be able to raise your FPS quite a lot. Or at least for my case I went from 60 to 250 to 300 frames per second. It's pretty insane how much these mods can improve your performance or how badly the vanilla Minecraft is optimized. Anyway, links to all the mods will be down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!